Cobalt, a metallic element, has become synonymous with progress. Its unique properties make it indispensable in the modern world, especially in the realm of energy storage and electronics. It's an essential component of lithium-ion batteries, powering everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. These batteries are the backbone of our digital lives and the driving force behind the electric vehicle revolution. Demand for cobalt is skyrocketing as the world transitions to renewable energy sources to combat climate change. The push for a greener future has led to an unprecedented surge in the need for efficient energy storage solutions. While this shift is crucial, it's shadowed by a darker reality, the human and environmental costs of cobalt mining. The extraction process is fraught with challenges, often taking place in regions plagued by poverty and instability. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, possesses the world's largest cobalt reserves, estimated to be around 70%. This vast wealth of resources has positioned the DRC as a key player in the global cobalt market. This African nation has become the epicenter of cobalt extraction, supplying a significant portion of the global demand. The cobalt mined here finds its way into products used by millions around the world. However, this abundance of resources has not translated into prosperity for the Congolese people. Instead, the local communities often face dire living conditions with little benefit from the wealth beneath their feet. Instead, it has fueled conflict, corruption and exploitation. The lucrative nature of cobalt has attracted various factions, leading to power struggles and illegal mining operations that further destabilize the region. The world's insatiable appetite for cobalt has come at a steep price. Miners often work in hazardous conditions, facing health risks and exploitation, with minimal compensation for their labor. As we celebrate advancements in clean energy and technology, we must acknowledge the human suffering and environmental degradation occurring in the cobalt supply chain. The pristine image of clean energy is marred by the harsh realities of its raw material sourcing. Only by confronting these uncomfortable truths can we strive for a truly sustainable and ethical future. It is imperative that we demand transparency and accountability in the cobalt supply chain, ensuring that the benefits of a green future do not come at the expense of human dignity and environmental health. Cobalt mining in the DRC is plagued by human rights abuses. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, holds some of the world's largest reserves of cobalt, a critical component in the production of batteries for electric vehicles and electronic devices. However, the extraction of this valuable resource comes at a significant human cost. The industry relies heavily on artisanal and small-scale mining, or ASM, where miners, including children, work in hazardous conditions for meager wages. These miners often use primitive tools and lack proper training, making their work extremely dangerous. Despite the risks, many are driven to these mines out of sheer necessity, seeking any means to support their families. These miners often lack basic safety equipment and are exposed to toxic dust and the risk of tunnel collapses. The absence of protective gear leaves them vulnerable to respiratory diseases and other health issues. The tunnels they work in are poorly constructed and prone to collapse, posing a constant threat to their lives. Forced labor and child labor are rampant in the DRC's cobalt mines. Many children are coerced into working long hours under harsh conditions, often with little to no pay. They are subjected to physical and emotional abuse, and their rights are routinely violated. Children as young as six are forced to work long hours, often dropping out of school and enduring physical abuse. These young miners are deprived of their education and a chance at a better future. Instead of learning in classrooms, they spend their days in dangerous mining tunnels, handling heavy tools and performing grueling labor. These children are robbed of their childhoods and denied access to education and health care. The lack of educational opportunities traps them in a cycle of poverty and exploitation with little hope for improvement. Their health is also compromised, as they are exposed to hazardous conditions without any medical support. The exploitation of vulnerable populations is a stain on the cobalt industry. The global demand for cobalt has led to the exploitation of some of the most vulnerable people in the DRC. These miners work tirelessly under inhumane conditions, with their labor fueling the profits of multinational corporations. The pursuit of cobalt has fueled conflict and instability in the DRC. The lucrative nature of cobalt mining has attracted armed groups and corrupt officials, 
who seek to control these valuable resources. This has led to violent conflicts and instability in mining regions, further exacerbating the suffering of local communities. Armed groups and corrupt officials often control mining operations, profiting from the forced labor and exploitation of miners. These groups use violence and intimidation to maintain control, ensuring that the profits from cobalt mining flow into their pockets while the miners remain trapped in a cycle of exploitation. The revenue generated from cobalt mining has been used to finance armed conflicts, perpetuating a cycle of violence and human suffering. The profits from this industry are often funneled into buying weapons and funding militias, leading to further instability and hardship for the people of the DRC. The international community must take action to address these human rights abuses and ensure that the cobalt supply chain is free from exploitation and violence. Cobalt mining not only devastates communities, but also leaves a trail of environmental destruction. The extraction process involves clearing vast areas of land, leading to deforestation and habitat loss. This destruction threatens biodiversity and disrupts fragile ecosystems. The processing of cobalt ore releases toxic chemicals into the environment, contaminating water sources and soil. These pollutants pose severe health risks to local communities who rely on these resources for drinking water and agriculture. The long-term consequences of this environmental contamination are dire and far-reaching. Furthermore, the transportation of cobalt ore from mines to processing plants often involves long journeys on poorly maintained roads. These journeys contribute to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, undermining the very purpose of using cobalt in clean energy technologies. The cobalt supply chain is complex and opaque, making it difficult to trace the origin of the metal. This complexity stems from the numerous stages the cobalt goes through, from mining to processing and finally to manufacturing. Each stage involves multiple players, often spread across different countries, adding layers of obscurity. This lack of transparency allows for human rights abuses and environmental violations to occur unchecked. Miners, including children, often work in hazardous conditions without proper safety measures. Additionally, the mining activities lead to severe environmental degradation, polluting rivers and destroying local ecosystems. The convoluted nature of the supply chain also poses risks to businesses and consumers. Companies may unknowingly source cobalt that has been mined unethically, leading to potential reputational damage. Consumers, on the other hand, may face higher prices and limited availability of products that rely on cobalt. Geopolitical tensions and instability in the DRC pose significant risks to the cobalt supply chain. The presence of armed groups and frequent protests can disrupt mining operations, leading to supply shortages. Moreover, the political landscape in the DRC is often volatile, adding another layer of uncertainty. Disruptions in production or exports from the DRC could have ripple effects throughout the global economy, impacting the availability and price of cobalt. Such disruptions can affect various industries, from electronics to automotive, that rely heavily on cobalt for their products. The reliance on a single country for such a critical mineral raises concerns about supply chain vulnerabilities. Diversifying the sources of cobalt is essential to mitigate these risks. However, finding alternative sources is challenging and requires significant investment and time. This dependence on the DRC could have far-reaching consequences, particularly as the demand for cobalt continues to surge with the growth of electric vehicles and renewable energy technologies. As the world moves towards a greener future, ensuring a stable and ethical supply of cobalt becomes increasingly crucial. While cobalt plays a crucial role in current battery technologies, researchers are actively seeking alternatives to reduce our dependence on this conflict-ridden mineral. These alternatives aim to create more sustainable and ethical battery solutions. One promising avenue is the development of lithium-ion phosphate, or LFP, batteries. These batteries do not require cobalt and offer several advantages, including lower cost, enhanced safety, and longer lifespan. LFP batteries are already being used in some electric vehicles and stationary energy storage systems. Another approach involves reducing the amount of cobalt required in batteries. Researchers are exploring new battery chemistries and designs that use less cobalt without compromising performance. These innovations could significantly reduce the demand for cobalt and mitigate its negative impacts. 